Last year, <clears throat> when I had the white truck, I had it set up so that the cameraman could come in and he'd charge all his equipment. Now, behind me, as you can see, there's piles of batteries, camera batteries. Now we can go a long time in the bush without having any, any drama with batteries for the camera, but there will come a time when he needs to charge them. So last year I'd have to get a generator out because the batteries were just getting abused. Power was being dropped right down because I've got two fridges in this truck. I've got a Waco 65 CFX and I've also got a little 25 freezer which I run on freeze. Now all this is being, being used to draw power out of the battery, okay? Now the battery system that I've got set up is I've got two 120 amp hour lithium batteries. So that's 240 amp hours. Now, these lithium batteries are a new thing to the market and Red Arc, Red Arc have come up with a DC to DC charger, which is lithium based. So it can charge the lithium batteries because a normal DC to DC charger will not charge lithium batteries. So the power comes from my alternator of the truck and it goes into this unit over here. Now that unit there is a lithium DC to DC Red Arc battery charger. So it has the ability to punch in over 14 volts all the time. So lithium batteries require a big voltage to bring the power back up. The advantage of lithium batteries is I can have it at 13 volts, right up to 20% left in the batteries and then it will start to drop down. Whereas a normal lead acid or an AGM, or which is um, absorbed glass matte battery, it'll start to taper off. Once it gets drops 20%, goes down to say 30%, as it starts to drop, the voltage starts to drop as well, which makes everything that is using power from it pull more power and become less efficient. So the lithium batteries, I reckon, are the way to go. They hold that voltage right through. Now, Generally, you're gonna need AC power, which is alternating current. Basically the stuff you got in your house. And that's to charge things like laptops, the big camera battery charger. I've got um, GME radios to charge up. All those things require AC power to charge. And that's where I've got behind me is the 1500 watt Red Arc inverter. It converts DC to AC power. So it takes the power from your battery converts it into alternating current and allows you to plug in household appliances, whether you need your hairdryer or something like that, I haven't needed a hairdryer yet, or your laptop, things like that. And that 1500 watts is ample enough power. So this is the setup I've got in the back. Now I'll show you what I got in the front. So under the bonnet, I'm running lead acid batteries. So I've separated both batteries. I've got one as my deep cycle battery and one is my cranking battery. Now that's to run accessories and a fridge inside the cab. Now I cannot combine the lithium batteries with the lead acid batteries or AGM batteries. So I've got another 40 amp DC to DC charger under the bonnet here, and that will charge my deep cycle battery. Now, so far I've done 10,000 Ks in this truck and I've done it I reckon 5,000 of those on some of the toughest roads in the Kimberley. And this Red Arc charger's been sitting here in the front of my truck, taking an absolute hiding, and it keeps on going. So there you go, they make a really good product, can suit many applications. You get a chance, check them out, especially if you're setting up a touring vehicle that requires a lot of power to run fridges and hair dryers.